And that's going to lead us on to the next tip. So you see an equation up here. And what I'd like you to do is I'd like you to just yell out what you think the other side of this equation is. Time equals what? Okay, and so I've heard that the vast majority of you did say exactly what we've all been trained to believe. We've all been trained to believe that time equals money. While that is only partially true, true I want to invite you to take this equation, as I'm about to present it, into your meeting. Because time equals something much more valuable. When you're in a meeting and it's not being productive, when you're in a meeting and it's not meeting your objectives, you're not sitting there going, oh my gosh, I'm, not, I'm wasting money. You know, you're not sitting there thinking of your own personal pocketbook. You are sitting in that meeting getting frustrated, being bored, kind of rolling your eyes, feeling that kind of frustrated feeling because you're wasting something that is so important to all of us. Time equals life. And we need to start asking this question in our meetings. Was this meeting a good use of not just our time, but was this, could, this meeting a good use of our what? Yeah. Our life. This mental mindset, when you start asking this during your meetings, and again, it doesn't matter if you're the chair or someone that's participating, bring this equation in as a kind of a standard that you're going to ask. All right, ladies and gentlemen, was this meeting a good use of our life? Did we use our time wisely? Because I guarantee you there's going to be meetings that you sit in or you're sitting in where you feel like you're wasting your life. If, you, if that's a true statement, please raise your hand. How many of you have been in meetings where you just feel like you're wasting your life? Raise your hand, raise your hand if that is your reality. Right? And I will tell you, your life is important. Let me say that again. Your life is important, and it shouldn't be wasted. And guess what? Everybody's life in that meeting, and if we could really raise our, our mental bar in corporate America about and in our organizations about how we're running our meetings, it will dramatically shift. It will dramatically shift how people participate in meetings. So the first step is really having your own personal definition. And even though 